Hey guys, so today we're gonna work on the Argos entity and then we might also add um, the tag entity as well as the, well actually the comment's not on this, but we might just do the rest of the entities today, uh, but we're gonna definitely start on the articles. Okay, so let's open up the entities directory and add our stuff. So I'm gonna do touch source entities and this is called an article dot entity dot ts and let me just copy this really quick so that I have a uh, reference to it without jumping back and forth in files so I'm gonna just do a giant ass comment and do that all right, I know that I'm going to copy, or not copy, I'm going to import from uh, Typeform, as well as the abstract entity, so dot slash abstract. And we're going to do export class article entity extends abstract all right um so this is gonna be an entity so we need to add the decorator here and inside of our database i'm gonna name the table articles so let's see what what else do we need um we're gonna need a slug so i'm gonna add a or install a package called slugify yarn add slugify and I think that's everything we're gonna need um, we're also gonna need to update our abstract entity because created that and updated that is under these names um, so instead of created and updated we're gonna add at and when the server starts, um, it should update the user to have these fields instead of what was originally there. So, all right, let's add our primary generate column and we're going with int, not it's a uh, number. That's the ID, we need a column for title it's just gonna be a string what's next column for description um, actually we don't need the ID that comes from the abstract entity but we do need a slug And for the slug, uh, we're gonna want to do a B4 insert, B4 inserts here, and we're gonna use the slugify uh, package that we just installed. So I'm gonna do import um, star as slugify from slugify. Let's put this up here, <clears throat> and gonna look a little bit like this so I'm gonna call it generate slug and it's gonna be this dot slug equals to slugify um, this dot title and we're gonna make sure it's lowercase so we're gonna pass in that option to true and then we're also gonna um, add a random number just to make sure that it's unique and we do math.random here not round random and let's multiply it by just a number of three six or zero dot two string 
36. Why this has no constant insurance? I used the wrong package tonight. Okay, so I'm gonna do darn remove slugify yarn add slug and yarn add at types slug. And that should do it. We just have to change this to slug. And everything should work out fine. Uh, we also get rid of this and let's work on the next part of this. So we want to do favorites and author. All right, so author should be pretty simple. We're just going to reference um, the user entity. And let's see, that's going to be a many to one relationship. So do many to one. So that means there's going to be many articles to one user, which makes sense. Okay. Um, author and authors of type user entity. And we're going to define the type is going to be a user entity. And the property on user is going to be user dot articles, which we're going to need to update the user entity for that. And that is going to be over, let, let's add it down here. So this is going to be um, a one to many thing. And articles is going to be an article array. And let's see, type is article entity and article author oops article dot author all right so that will resolve the author now we need to do favorites which is also going to be an array of uh, users uh, let's put it up here That's also going to be a many to one relationship. And this is called favorites. And it's going to be. Is this the favorites? Let's see. Um, favorited favorites count. Yeah. So user entity. This is going to be an array, right? This is many to many of them. And I believe this also needs the join column attributes. And let me think. Um, no, that's right. Uh, so if I'm going to actually name this favorited by just to make it it'll make a little more sense. So an article could be or many articles can be favorited by many users. So this is going to be of type user entity and the, the property is going to be user dot favorites. And we're also going to have to add that in here as well. So it's going to be also many to many and this will also need the join column or the join table uh, field uh, no join column the property is going to be favorites our entity and let's do that type is article entity and article dot favorited by there you go and there we go all right and then let's see the two fields that we want is favorite count which we can do easily and then favorited which we're gonna add 
uh, method just like the user method of to profile. There's going to be to. We can actually just add it into the to JSON field, or the the to JSON method like this. So let's go do, go ahead and do that. Um, so what did I call this? This was called favorite counts. Okay, so favorites count, and this is gonna be a number, and we're gonna use a newer decorator. Uh, called relationship count here where we just uh, in here it takes in the uh, the entity so article entity uh, article and we're counting favorited by so article dot favorited by Okay. Article entity. There. And um and then let's add the two JSON fields here to JSON. Which uh we can get rid of this now. So but two JSON is available to us when we import um from the class transformer I believe yeah and what is the method that we want to import is called class to plane so to JSON is going to return class to plane of this and we actually do need the other method so was it to article uh, because we want to populate that field, the uh, the favorited field. Oh, it's not there anymore. Um, so for that to happen, we need the optional authentication to check the user. So it's me user entity here, and it's gonna be a similar method to this. So I'm just gonna copy all of this. Um, do paste here and it's going to be favorited favorited um, this is going to be called favorited by dot includes and this is called article 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 favorited and we can um, yeah we'll also have to delete the thing so that'll populate that field and what else do I need to do um, let's actually add a options uh, property here to the favorited by property and we're going to call eager to true. And what that will do is that whenever we do a find, it'll automatically um, populate this property without us having to do that. And uh, I think we could also do that here to author. So there's one property left that we need to add, which is the tag list property. And I'm going to cheat a little bit where we're actually going to store the entire array in Postgres. So down here, the property is going to be tag list and it's going to be of type array of strings. And this is just going to be a normal column, except the type is going to be a simple array simple array and we're just going to store the entire array um, for the actual tag entity itself uh, if you look at the response types um, under where where's tags yeah it's responding with just the string of arrays or just an array of strings so 
we'll do something a little different for the the tags array or the tags entity but we'll get there in a little bit in the next video we're gonna actually just do the normal crud operations for the article um what the hell is this for the the article uh, module and we'll have the service and controller and everything so i'll see you guys next time